This video reviews the process of exporting data from your Backendless backend. To start, select an application in Backendless console and click Manage, then Export. There are three types of data which you can export. Application Settings, Objects from the Data Tables, and Geo Points. The Application Settings export will include all the settings from the Manage App Settings screen. The Data Tables export includes all the data from the selected tables. As some tables may reference other related tables, the export interface provides visual clues to make it easier to select a full closure of data. For example, the Address, Contact, and Phone Book tables have relationships between them. As a result, when address is selected for export, the console automatically selects contact and phone book. However, this selection is optional and you can exclude some tables which are not needed for a particular export. Also, notice that any related tables are always highlighted with the blue color. The Included Data Types option is helpful if you want to preserve the types of the object properties in the export. Backendless will recognize the types when you import previously exported data. The Geo Service export includes the Geo points with the associated metadata for the selected categories. To start the export, simply click the Export button. Backendless automatically initiates the export process and when finished, sends an email to the application developer with a link to a zip file containing the exported data. Additionally, the email includes the export log. If Backendless ran into any errors during the export, they will be referenced in the log as well. Keep in mind that the generated file is stored in the file service of your application. You can see it in the Backendless console if you click Files and then select the Export folder. If you look inside the zip file, you will see the following settings.json which contains the application settings categories containing your geo points data and multiple csv files each for a particular data service table this concludes the overview of the export functionality be sure to check out the import data video as well but for now thank you and endlessly happy coding.